Let's get more on this action in Kaduna State. And the National President of uh, the National Union of Local Government Employees uh, joins us now on News Track, um, Bali Akim. He joins us from the Kaduna State Capital. Welcome. Thank you very much, Madam Madrid. <laughs> so how resolute is the union in seeing this through? You see, the, 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 the fundamental issue here is that despite the fact that employer of labor has the right, labor has the right to, to do restructuring. Also, workers has right to be called into negotiation before the end. This is why advertising, collective bargaining, is the in thing by ILO convention, which Nigeria freely deposed to. Number two is that even labor law, trade union amendment act, as amended, recognize the fact that in declaring redundancy, workers union you know, must uh, it, it just shall be consulted in government Kaduna State labor government relationship. This is conspicuously missing. In collective bargaining, no partner is a senior partner. We have to sit down, lay the cards on the table, as it affects local government workers. As of today, El Rufai has dismissed 7,441 local government workers from the local government service of Kaduna State. What is the his argument? The argument of government has been that we have paucity of funds. But even when you have paucity of funds, what do you do to the salaries and the low emolument of political office holders? Has Governor Rufai reduced his own salary by 50%? Has he pulled down the retinue of aid that he appointed who are not actually doing something that is productive to the development of Kaduna State? So for us in Nordi, we condemn this and we insist that Governor Rufai owes us a duty to call us to collective bargaining and negotiation. Number two, there was a first claim by the Commissioner of Local Government. But I'm not surprised. You know, when a commissioner of local government that is excited to be talking about local government autonomy, grassroots development, giving projects to local government, suddenly become a commissioner for information. That is why I cannot give accurate data when my hope was taking him on today. They ask him a simple question. How many workers have been sacked by Kaduna government? He cannot give the fact. They ask him how many have been pursued down for sack? He was saying, um, um, um. and he also firstly alleged that another leadership was called into a meeting to agree on that. I said, no, this is incorrect. I am number one citizen of Nogi. If such negotiation is to be done, I suppose to be invited for that collective bargaining for my representative. This was not done. And again, he claimed that I've returned back to Abuja. I'm right here live in front of the Kaduna State Secretariat. I am not in Abuja. Nogi is collaborating with labor to ensure that this injustice this impunity, this wicked act by Governor Erufai of Kaduna State is reverted. No retreat, no surrender. Thank you. Right. So, but do you think, you know, you can be open to negotiations with the state government, even though the strike has started, uh, as Labour even considered, you know, understanding the, the in-depth situation in Kaduna State? We did a critical analysis of the situation in Kaduna State. This thing didn't start now. It started in 2017. Labor took a decision as an executive council meeting, right? Communicating formally, Governor Rufai, um, that we will proceed. But because Governor Rufai believed he embarked on this, when that of 2017 happened, he, in his letter, he said their, their benefit shall be paid in due course. My sister, up till now, Governor Rufai refused to pay one naira to any of the prematurely disengaged workers in Kaduna. Even the former president of my union, who was disengaged prematurely because of his role in the last struggle, who was dismissed, was, became depressed, and he died. His family now are left to Penwich. You can see that out of this impunity, see the massive destruction of the, 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 the market and the shops and housing facilities of Kaduna people without having social protection for them. If you want to carry out organization, you must provide an alternative. You must give them where to stay. You don't just destroy their means of livelihood and condemn them to death. That is why we say that the both the federal government and international labor organization, international government, must call them to fight to order before it succeeds in destroying Kaduna. No wonder Kaduna has become epic center of insecurity in Nigeria. 
because of this anti-people, anti-worker policy. Thank you.